Hello and good morning. So for today's lesson, we will look into the content management system. So the content management system is a web application software for helping webmaster and content creator to manage content in a systematic manner. So a uh, content management system will avoid webmaster and content developer from reinventing the wheel. That is from creating a website from scratch. So most of the website that you see from the internet are managed by content management system and the company or the organization behind the website do not create the website from the scratch but rather they would use the content management system to help them to organize the content in a timely orderly and systematic manner so there are several popular content management system packages that are available on the internet so the most popular one would probably be WordPress and then followed by Drupal and Joomla. These are the popular content management system packages which uses PHP and MySQL. But keep in mind, there are also other content management system which uses other environment or other programming languages such as Python, Ruby or Java. So today I will only cover popular content management system under PHP and MySQL environment. So the first and foremost popular content management system is WordPress. WordPress is a free and open source content management system offered by Automatic Incorporated. You can download WordPress.org content management system for free from its website. So the WordPress content management system can be easily configured in your own web server such as from your Apache web server available through your XAM control panel. So for the next lab, I will show you how to configure WordPress inside your own computer. WordPress is far most the popular choice of content management system for bloggers and news website. So if you see any news website that publishes content in an orderly manner or in chronological manner, probably the website is using the WordPress content management system. So in Malaysia, WordPress is used in several popular websites including Paul Tan, so the automotive blogger, and then other websites such as Siakat Keli. So there is a news portal website. Uh, we call it Siakat Keli if you familiar with it. And then it is also used in uh, other uh, breaking news websites such as Obulan. And even mainstream website uses WordPress such as uh, Utusan Malaysia Online. So WordPress is also used by other governmental website or higher institutional learning website. So if you look at this website and then explore this website, you will see that these uh, websites are using content management system and are not being built from the ground up by the programmer. Rather, they would use a ready-made software such as WordPress to build their website and then their content around the CMS. So if you rather look around, you will see that it is relatively easy to set up a WordPress in your own server. So the next popular content management system would be Drupal. So Drupal is similar to WordPress as it uses a PHP MySQL engine. Drupal, on the other hand, also thrives on news website. So some of the news website which uses Drupal is Brita Harian. And then there are also other websites uh, that use Drupal such as governmental website like Justice website like that is a website Kehakiban Negara Malaysia. So if you go to this website, you will see that these websites are using Drupal for its content management system. Other website that uses Drupal management system is Harian Metro, okay, a news website. So uh, the differences between Drupal and WordPress is that Drupal would allow wider range of plugin that can arrange uh, the website in a portal-like manner. Drupal is also used by other websites such as uh, USM. The differences between Drupal and WordPress is that in Drupal, the content and layout are much more suitable for building portal. So this uh, would lead to some organization or company would prefer to use Drupal over WordPress. Speaking about news portal website, we have Joomla. 
Joomla is the preferred choice for content management system for organization that wishes to build a news portal or a website portal around their website. So uh, one of the most popular website that uses Joomla is USM. So you can visit the USM website and see how uh, it is different between a website that uses WordPress or Drupal. So uh, Joomla is much more oriented towards creating a comprehensive web portal where you can list out uh, menus and then uh, put in the gallery plugin where the gallery would be shown around the website and then swipe over the website. So uh, that's all for our class today. So for today, I've introduced you to popular content management system packages using PHP and MySQL. And I also have introduced how common company or organization would arrange their content on the internet by using content management system rather than they reinvent the wheel by creating each of their website from scratch. So if you are wondering how this company created their website, they, are, they create it by using content management system. In the next slide session, I would expect you to install your own content management system in your own computer through the use of Apache Web Server with the help of XAMPP Control Panel. So, be seeing you back in the next segment.